Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new unboxing video. For today I have a very exciting phone, the Yumi Z. So this is the first phone using the Helio X27 CPU. This is a DecaCore CPU clocked at 2.6 GHz. So it should be a very fast phone. Aside from that we have 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, running Android 7. It should have Android 6 but we should uh, have an update available for Android 7. And we also have 13 megapixel cameras on the front and on the back so without further ado let's get this box open and check it out so i got the phone and they also sent a whole bunch of uh, cases this is probably a screen protector if i can uh, get this open so yeah this is definitely a screen protector i like the fact that they actually use the metal for the boxes uh, this time so even the screen protector has a metallic uh, box so yeah this is definitely a screen protector a very thick uh, screen protector i'm not gonna put a, put a screen protector on but uh, it's a nice uh, thing to have i guess uh next we have this here let's see what this is looks like a case oh this is so cool look at this oh without dropping it but yeah this is like a, a z that's uh, made in a case this is very very cool I'm actually gonna use uh, this one here. So yeah, it definitely looks uh, very cool. Nothing that I've uh, seen before. Uh, so we'll leave that aside. Let's see what's in here. So it's another case. It seems to be made out of some type of rubber that looks like uh, that material that's used for jeans. So uh, a very cool case, this one as well. So yeah, they did put a lot of uh, work in these cases uh, for sure. So let's see what we have here and this is like a silicon case like the smallest one that uh, you have for the phone basically. So a whole bunch of cases that uh, they sent as well. So let me get this out of the way. And now the phone itself. So this time around we don't have a cardboard or plastic um, case, we actually have a case made out of metal. So on the back here we can see the specifications, so the Helio X27 uh, as I said before. Uh, we also see that we have a 5.5 inch screen with a 1080p resolution and uh, whatever bands uh, are available. So let's get this opened here. Yeah, this, this is a very very cool box. I haven't uh, seen anything like this uh, for quite some time. And this is the phone uh, itself. Man, it looks just like an iPhone. Like, it feels like an iPhone too and it's very very light. Okay, so um, let's see what we have in the box here. We have a little um, user manual, so this is gonna show you whatever you need to know about uh, the phone. We'll leave that aside. We have the USB-C cable, yeah, so um, I'm very curious to see if this is longer uh, as it was on the Yumi Plus. We have the power adapter, and let's get that closer to the camera so you can see what it says so small i can barely read that so i think uh, it says that uh, 1.8 uh, amps so not uh, the fastest uh, charger in the world and we also have the sim card tray uh, removal tool so let's get this out of the way and let's check out the phone so first of all it comes with a screen protector uh, installed or not no it's just a uh, a plastic on the screen so there is no screen protector installed uh, but uh, you could install that screen protector that uh, I got and there is another plastic on the back here so let's remove this plastic from the back and I have to say that the phone looks gorgeous I just love the camera on the back there that uh, black camera on the gold phone I have to say that it does look uh, very very good this is a phone that costs around $280 I believe but I have to say that it looks uh, spectacularly good for uh, that price. So first of all on the right hand side here we have the power button and the volume keys and these are also made out of uh, metal. On top um, you're gonna find a 3.5mm audio jack and on the left hand side you're just gonna find the tray for the SIM card. All the way at the bottom we're gonna find what looks to be like two speakers but I do believe that only one of them is a speaker and um, we also have the USB-C right there. And on the back we have the camera as I said before, um, this is a 13 megapixel camera. We also have laser uh, focus um, if I remember correctly from uh, the description. We have the LED there and uh, what looks to be like a secondary microphone. 
Of course, we see the Yumi logo and all the way at the bottom designed uh, by Yumi made in China. And lastly, on the front, uh, we have yet another 13 megapixel camera. We have uh, the speaker right there and a couple of sensors. And all the way at the bottom, um, you're gonna find the home button, which is also a fingerprint scanner. This button also feels just like the button that you'd find on an iPhone or a OnePlus 3T, for example. So you can't actually push on it. Um, you can just touch it and uh, this is how it works. And for a very fast comparison, this is how it looks next to my uh, OnePlus 3T. So as you can probably tell, they do look very, very similar. So yeah, it looks just like the OnePlus 3T. All right, now that we've seen how it uh, looks, uh, let's turn it on and see if we uh, have any battery, and we do. And uh, we also get the Yumi logo right there at the beginning. Okay, so it took about 30 seconds, 35 seconds um, to start up. So let's start uh, by setting this up. So I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi network and I can already see my uh, 2.4 and my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. So we'll connect to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and uh, we'll say no. So we're gonna start this as a new device. We'll go next. And let me sign in with my Gmail account. So we'll go next and uh, we'll just wait for the setup to be done. Not now, let's set up a fingerprint uh, just so you can see how well it does. So next we'll set a pattern. And we'll show the notifications. Next. And let's uh, not restore anything. We'll uh, set this as a new device and it's already on. And I wanna see how the fingerprint scanner works. So uh, we already have a wireless update. So let's try that one more time and then we'll uh, do the update. So um, it does seem to work uh, okay. Maybe it's not the absolute fastest in the world. Actually, it's faster than the Yumi Plus E from um, what I remember. So um, now that we have an update, I'm just gonna install this and uh, we'll continue the video after that. Okay, and the update it's done and the phone it's back on. So uh, it's not uh, Android 7 yet. We still have Android 6. So I'm um, assuming that an update uh, will come shortly. So um, yeah, for now it's Android 6. For buttons, we can also have the buttons on the device itself or on the screen. So if you press this, then you're gonna have uh, the buttons on the screen. However, I don't really like buttons on the screen, so we'll turn them off uh, for now. Other than that, we do have a notification light uh, somewhere in there. I'm just gonna show you what languages uh, are available. So a whole bunch of languages like most uh, Android devices. So those uh, are all the languages available. And uh, that's pretty much it for storage and USB. Out of the 32 gigs, uh, the phone is using about seven uh, gigs uh, for the operating system for sure. But I'm pretty sure that you can install uh, an SD card as internal storage. All right, now that we've seen that, uh, I'm just gonna install the Antutu benchmark and the Geekbench 4 um, because I wanna see the scores that we get uh, with this new CPU. So I knew that the Helio X27 would be fast, but I never imagined that it's gonna be this fast. So on the Antutu benchmark, we get a score of 108,000, uh, close to 109,000. So a very, very high score. And moving to the Geekbench 4 here, we get some crazy scores as well. So the multi-core score is 4117 and the single core score is 1761. So the scores are very, very close to the Snapdragon 821. Here we can see some details um, about the CPU, the RAM and so on. And the last thing I want to check out uh, for this unboxing video is the camera. So we have a 13 megapixel camera on the back and I'm very curious to see how well it does. So pretty quick as you can probably tell. And uh, let's uh, check out that picture here. So pretty decent uh, as well, but again, uh, we'll have to see how this camera does in uh, 
low light conditions and so on. And on the front again we have another uh, 13 megapixel camera. And look at that, wow. So uh, I'm quite impressed uh, with the front facing camera on this phone um, as well. So uh, for uh, my first uh, impressions, yeah, the phone does look uh, very, very good. I love the shape of it. I love how it feels. It's not that heavy. Uh, it's just awesome for like a phone that costs under $300. And those scores on the Antutu benchmark and the Geekbench 4 are pretty close to the scores that we get on um, any Snapdragon 821. So quite impressive. Alright guys, um, a review will follow uh, in a couple of days after I get a chance to use the phone and uh, see how well it does. And um, I'll probably do a comparison test, like a speed test between this and the um, OnePlus 3T. Uh, if you like the video, press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.